Here's Larry Davis. Lobs it down low for Mike Williams. Puts up a shot. Got blocked from behind by Harris. And the rebound goes to Edwards. Mario Edwards into the front court for the shot to clears. High arcing cross-court pass. Caught by Sassini. Three-pointer is good. Mario Sassini, three for ten from the the arc this season. And he's given his team an 11-8 lead. Vaughn has it between the circles. Bounce pass to the left point in Davis. Now the opposite point, it's Alvin Mitchell. Back up top for Vaughn. Deontay holds it over his head, now near his waist. Puts it on the floor. Dribbles between the legs, but not going anywhere with the ball. And now he backs up to center court. Shot clock down to 11. Deontay isolated against Edwards. Drives to the left elbow. Passes right side. Gates with a jump shot. It's good for Yancey. Shows he can hit that 15-footer right there. Now let's play it at the other end. So the parade All-American out of Withrow High has four points, and Cincinnati is down by one, 11 to 10. Dexter Moore has it near the sideline. Passes to the left point, and Joseph Harris, now on the wing, it's Edwards. Foul line extended outside the arc. Dribbles toward the top of the circle. Passes right side outside the three-point strike to Harris. Spins toward the right block. Great feet under the hoop. Pack misses a layup. Gets his own rebound. His pass deflected by Vaughn, but it goes to Sassini. Now Dexter Moore for three. is shot off the back rim. Long rebound comes out. 15 feet away to Vaughn. Deontay into the front court. Passes to Larry Davis. Shoots from the corner. It's short. Rebounded by Pack. Never was set to shoot the ball. 11-10, Coastal Carolina up. Here's Harris on the baseline, shoots from 12 feet and scores. That's the second time Yancey's man just caught it and shot on him without any pressure. Three points for Joseph Harris. And the Chanticleers lead it by three, 13-10. Vaughn in the front court. Gates sets a screen. Deontay from long range, and he hits from about 26 feet. That's an NBA tray. <laughs> That's an all-world tray right there. And it ties the game at 13. That has to be a, a recurring nightmare for Cliff Ellis after seeing Vaughn hit nine of them last year against his ball club. Joseph Harris, two steps behind the arc, left side. Puts it on the floor. Now between the circles, passes toward the right sideline, and Dexter Moore looks to drive by Vaughn and puts up a running bank shot that's off the window and good. They've got some speed. They take it at you. That's what impresses me right now. First basket for Dexter Moore out of Hargrave Military Academy, the same prep school that produced James White for Cincinnati and David West for Xavier. Here's another three for Vaughn. This one off the left side of the rim. Rebound bounces to the right side where Sassini has it. Great no-look feed to Harris, who goes to the hoop and lays it in. Two against one should never have happened. Very, impre did. very impressive offensive start. They moved the basketball. Coastal Carolina up by four, 17 to 13. Davis between the circles. Bounce pass to a cutting Vaughn outside the arc left side. Deontay driving toward the left elbow. Floats it to Gates on the baseline. We've got a collision and a blocking foul called on Joseph Harris. Did his best acting job. Maybe acted a little bit too much. Made it too obvious. And we have our first official's timeout. With the score, the Chanticleer 17, the Bearcats 13. We'll take a break on the Old Spice Bearcat Network and 700 WLW. Full timeout, Nick. Thank you. Here we go. Time for tonight's injury report brought to you by Varsity Village, Varsity Village Imaging, where you see athletes go for all of their medical imaging. As you know, Kashmir Wright out for the season with a torn ACL. It has been repaired by... 
Dr. Colosimo. Cashmere is off crutches. Good to see him walking around. He'll take some uh, flat-footed shots, but if you weren't listening to the pre 